jumped. Yeah. Yeah, I think after how well we did last week, last month, um, you know, it's time that we get truly defeated. And I yeah. say that, and then, and then we're going to do great. And whenever I say we're going to do great, it's when we do terrible. <laughs> so if you learn anything, yeah. that means we're always going to do terrible. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> say them all, say them all. Um, it's something worse. Uh, this is an improvisational art show where um, the library's funding has been taken captive by evil financial overlords in order to try to get them to release some of it from their grubby bark-like fists. Um, we have to come up with like media for them to sell and profit off of us. And so as the proletariat, we are we will have to fight back at some point. But for now, we are lowly proles who have not united, a la the characters in 1984, the subclass, the class of 1984. I've gone off on a tangent. I am sorry. The point <laughs> is, I really don't like those. Movies. It's very true. They're not. They're not genial. They're not polite. They're not even funny. I shouldn't. I should not have said that. That's the name of a Nazi. Oh! Damn it! <laughs> Whoops! That's gonna. I'm just gonna. You know what? We're canceled. We're, we're done. I'm freaking canceled. We're done. Uh... Uh... Let's change topics. Gerbils. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know this has been a real bag full of hamsters so mm -hmm. far. There you go. <laughs> That'll turn it right around. Oh, man. So, the VOD's gonna light the internet on fire. You know, maybe the internet deserves it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You're not wrong. Yeah. It's a backpack full of gerbils. A, 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 you know, a bucket full of hamsters. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so in the interest of it being um, American Thanksgiving in a few days, I thought we would take a return back to the dark food -iverse, one of our most inexplicable creations. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> um, the brands that make you clap your hands. Yes, absolutely. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, clap. <laughs> um, so this began, I think, in our pre-recording days, because we usually just, just do this live. Um, where we had, I believe it was, we came up with these uh, mascots, of Salty and Spencer, <laughs> and I believe Salty was an otter. It's it's really hard to tell. <laughs> some kind of weasel or yes. otter, maybe. Some something uh, in the, vaguely in the mustelid family. Yes, and <laughs> definitely some kind of clown at the same time. Right. And then Spencer, I believe, was a rodent. Yes, because he's speedy. Yes, and uh, the the sauce is to, is tomato sauce, but it's meant to be consumed like yogurt. Yes, <laughs> yes, which is totally normal and a thing that we should do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we're really really pushing the boundaries of future foods right here with the, these these um, highly preserved edibles. Mm -hmm. You gotta slam that nutrition where we can get it. <laughs> You, you you crank open whatever you know tin or tin or tube tin or tube thank you and just freaking go for it mm -mm. you don't need anything but your gullet nope um so that was the first creation and then moving on in the second iteration oh no i'm missing one uh mm. i messed up okay so we're gonna Apparently, there it is, but really small. It is is really small. Let me. Yeah, I know I'm trying to draw it in layer. Leave me alone. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, so let me. Uh, how about we? This is all going great. It's, it's going great, everyone. 
We're stumped already. You know what? I said it and it was gonna happen. I'm not gonna give up here. So, there was a follow-up, which was one last taste. In a land dominated by bland, they bring the flavor. I'm, s I'm very sorry it is so tiny. I'm not gonna be bothered to fight with this. <laughs> um, and I believe it was, it was like a wasteland apocalypse. Where, where Spencer and, and Salty are trying to bring flavor back to the world. Mm -hmm. And then the, 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 the sequel to that, of the invention of the Dark Foodiverse, yes, I know, being um, their encounters with their rivals, Business Sausage, The Misery Meat, and Cursanta Filler. Dastardly. 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 Extremely evil. Very inedible. Yeah, and so there's some very weird imagery going on here. <laughs> I think this is the climactic fight? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. This is when it all comes to a head. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, in the interest of continuing this question mark? <laughs> uh... We're just gonna kind of freaking go for it. I'm gonna delete those layers because this thing is bad. Okay, all right. And it, and, okay, it's just, it's just there. Okay. So we already have our protagonists, and so now it's time for us to come up with more antagonists or side characters. We'll see how we feel. So. Do we want to start with a food, an animal, or a job? <laughs> oh, man. I think... I mean, so... Let's do... Instead of like a panini, it looks like. Oh, that's pretty adorable. Yes. Um, but not, not as inexplicable as BAP. D A P. BAP? Yes, which means something very different than American vernacular. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have for the foods, we have a tuna sandwich, a cheese steak, a cob salad. It says baked bean, but it looks like. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, it, it says baked bean, but it looks like a cherry on top of a piece of toast. I don't, whatever. Mm. Fortune cookie gumbo. Fortune what? cookie comma gumbo. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Ramen. Um, a lot of soups here. Waffle. Well, sandwiches. appealing to you. We could definitely do something with sandwiches. Sandwiches. Okay. Yeah. I'm drawing. It's still loading? Sure, buddy. Sure, buddy. Oh, wow. That is extremely <gasps> Wow. I do like that it's like Sammy and Sando. They're all different ways of saying sandwich. Yeah. Sandwiches. suggestion. I mean, this could be. That might just be this it. Might could be, be. You might not have to yep. do anything else except make a trope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, you yeah. know what? It reminds me of, um, I had an idea from, like, a D&D campaign a while back where there were things like, like, pizza mancers. <gasps> yes. And, um, I don't know what I called the ice cream one, but, yeah, it just... You know, magical food fighters going on oh, there. This is perfect. Okay. <laughs> so, 
So, all right, we're, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna badly erase this, edit, delete. We're gonna, we're, I'm just gonna, we're gonna move this up here. Okay, we, so we got Sam Witches. Witches. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, now I'm, now I'm gonna pull up a, a trope to work with. Because it's going to be way too easy for me to just be like, yes, obviously, we're doing the witches in Macbeth. See, now I'm saying it. Now I feel like I have to do it. <laughs> but let me pull I up. I mean, uh, there's, like, you know, typically three witches in a coven. There's plenty of sandwich types to choose from. Okay. So I've, I've got I've got some, some tropes which can already work with that. No, I am I'm just gonna put yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, so I also got wish short man syndrome. <laughs> it's a trap. Familiar slash um, guardian. to grind. The last one is, oh no, they're hot, but, you know, we've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> we've done that a lot. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to tell me people attractive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's also it rule of television. It sells. So, I think we can shave, shave. Yeah, let's shave the sh short man let's syndrome. Yeah. Good lord. So I feel like familiar slash guardian is a good one. Yeah, it's a trap easy. we've done recently. An axe to grind is an interesting one. Now, is that... Spell that one out for me. Um, it's like, um, they have a grudge. That's what it means. Most wishes do. Yes. Alright, so we can go with that one. Alright. So let us... Let, let us, and by us I mean me. Shrink this again. Yeah. Wow, watch. Alright. So I'm going to spend way too much mental energy trying to think, trying to remember the witch's speeches in, um, uh, in Macbeth, the Scottish play. We're not in a theater, so we're okay to actually say Macbeth. But, uh, so this, this might be an issue. Okay, so we'll start off with a cauldron, which is great for making things like goulash. Yes. And I will, um, happily note that if, you know, like, the, the popular tropes, and also in the, um, when the when the witches are making their their um, you know their their speeches of all all their different ingredients that they're putting in there, what they're actually it's like sounds like like I of newt and whatnot. Those are actually slang terms for like herbs and plants and spices. Whoa. Yeah, you can actually they're look, not so bad after all. Yeah, so they might have really just been making soup, you know, until the hurly burly's done. That's what they say. Till the hur hurly burly is done. I mean, they're witches. They're gonna say some weird stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm like trying to think of how an actual cauldron works. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, for for art's sake. Wicked, this way comes. Oh, I got, I got to think. I got to think real hard. Delicious. Delicious. Oh, I do have. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat. I actually have within arm's reach. Something <laughs> delicious between my buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pelican 
edition of Shakespeare, which Ooh. I got in London. Just the one, actually. Alright, not the histories, the tragedies. 16, 16, okay. So I'll let you come up with, with the first <laughs> Sam Witch. Oh boy. This is truly... This is true librarianship here. Let me get a reference material for this goof. Yes. <laughs> oh, there's a cat. Oh, no. There's a cat. The cat also has a penis. But is the cat saying, <laughs> saying the cat? We're, we're gonna find out. No, no. You like witches? think about one of them being an ice cream sandwich. Oh, I love it. I love this idea.
actual like speed will be going. sting, lizard's leg and owlet's wing for a charm of powerful trouble like a hellbrock boil and bubble. All together now, double, double toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron, bubble. Third witch, scale dragon, tooth of wolf, which is money, maw, and It says golf. I imagine in the accent it would be like goof. Goof? I mean, you know, back in the day. There's some sound rhymes that don't translate over to, you know, contemporary American. Yes. Um, of the ravine, salt sea shark, root of hemlock, dig in the dark, liver of blossoming Jew. Hey! Gall of goat and slips of goose, sliver of the woods and cliffs, nose of turf, lip and tartar's lips, finger of birth strangled bay. Well, I don't know if that's a beautiful thing. Ditch delivered by a dread, make the rules thick and slap. Right now, it's okay. There too, a tired chowder for the ingredients of a cauldron. Oh, this guy, this guy is puns. This guy gets it. There's a whole lot more, and I want to, as much as I, you know, would love to be paid to just read Macbeth. You could dive right down this. crazy ingredients in there. Hey, I did not hit that. Go away. <laughs> I don't know what the point and so, you know. Double double toil and trouble. So maybe the double double toil and trouble is salty and sorry. Spencer. Sorry. Are they in the cauldron? Oh, they can be. They can be in the cauldron. In which case, I'm gonna... I'm Still finally figuring out which layer's which. Yes, I will finally get drawing after reading Shakespeare. <laughs> we need to get a nice big sandwich. Oh well, I love the droop the droopiness. It's extremely sinister. Yes. I mean, you know, they should be they should be like classic whenever this the cannibalism trope happens in cartoons. The classic of their tied together. Yes. Alright, so Alright. The name composition. 
Oh yeah, that's right, he has that little chef's hat on. this looks a bit too done. It's because I switched it to the pen and I was like, this seems very dark. As if it the content dark. wasn't dark enough. <laughs> extremely funny. Just the, the funniest. What is an example of a finger sandwich? So, um, good question. So, there's a little doodle here. Finger sandwiches tend to be very small because they're meant to be eaten with your fingers. That's what I was hoping. I, the the most... I wanted for the third small witch. Yeah. The um so you could also think of it as like a sample size if you wanted to play an olive or something on it. Um the most common ones that I think of when it comes to finger sandwiches are ones that they would serve at tea time. So my reference point is actually the sandwiches referenced in the play by um The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. And I remember them being primarily So you could you could consider a finger sandwich being you know a tiny club sandwich like you would see like maybe a buffet, but if you want to go really tea timey, you could uh, you know make it a cucumber sandwich. Oh, I, I, I can work with that. So if, if, if the Dark Foodiverse is a, is a place without flavor, and they're trying to make soups, and, there are, and they yeah. are sandwiches, which makes sense, because soups and sandwiches go together. Soups and sandwiches. Like, come on. And I mean, our protagonists are like, flavor blasted. Yes. Like, what better ingredients? So maybe they aren't there because could be a case of um, enemies 
at the beginning because they're like, well, these they're they're flavor blasted, but their axe to grind is that there is no flavor. Right, they're sort of fighting for the same thing. Yes. So they don't necessarily team up, but maybe you know they uh, the sandwiches make make a deal of some kind. They're like, listen, you, you can get you know. As long as you give us some of your your sard snacks and your sauce, and you know, be our regular suppliers for that. <laughs> yes, we can. We can come to terms. They're they're at yes. They're they're axe to grind. Is that there's just. Just making dinner is such a grind. <laughs> just woof. Not, a, not enough flavors in the world. Flavors in the world. Because, I mean, My there is a dark food of ours. We do not have enough. Alright. Hey, Roxanne, yeah? You ready for a bad time? Or more, depending on how you feel about things. Let's make a good time. Oh boy, I'm like forgetting what these characters look like, and it kind of doesn't matter at this point. Now that I said it doesn't matter, now I now I found myself caring. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of reference work in this episode. <laughs> For something that's meant to be improvisational, a lot of references. We're, we're learning a lot we're about learning, ourselves. You know, I do, okay. Let's, oh wait, no, that's mascot one. Okay. I found it. I found the one last taste. The original. <laughs> the original, not original. Let me see if I can drop it in as a reference. Oh boy. Can I, can I copy this? Hey friend? Hey friend? Hey friend? Struggling. Just <laughs> um, open file location. Thank you. All right. There we go. All right. All right. They bring the flavor. Yes. Oh, that's right. Spencer's wearing goggles to protect from the sauce. I forgot. Yeah, he goes wild with that stuff. Ratio's a little off, but I'm just gonna try not to cover up your witch. There we go. Alright. Everything's going great. I can also move my witches. Yeah, I think that they're they're fantastic. I'm moved by them. And that's what we want when this media is consumed. Yes.
it's steamy. They're in soup. True. Yep. No, you're right. Let's actually put it on there and make it droop. They're steamy. They're in soup. Put it on and make it droop. Hey! Ha! Witch stuff. <laughs> you did it. You ding dang doodled it. Ding ding doodle. Pretty, pretty inert. Can't really do much with those. Inert? I don't think that's the word I meant. Listen, not everything's going to be me quoting Shakespeare. Sometimes it's going to be me saying words wrong. You ain't all Bill Shakespeare. If you go into some, you know, academic conspiracy theories, not even Bill Shakespeare was Bill Shakespeare. Whoa! What? That's right, it was the 13th Earl of Oxford or whoever. There was a movie about it. That's some crazy town. Or maybe it was the Dark Lady, as in a woman wrote all of them. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. Quotes in here? Not for me. I would have to look one up. Cannot help you. <laughs> Listen, not my specialty. Don't think I had a single class on, on Thurber. I don't even know if that's a real person. <laughs> Sandwiches. This is entirely plausible. Yes. You're villainous. You might be doing some villainous things. 
yeah, some, you know, more, some, some problematic behavior. Yeah. Uh, uh, from, from the chat, thank you, chat. James Grover Thurber, December 8th, 1894 to November 2nd, 1961, is an American cartoonist, humorist, journalist, and playwright. He was best known for his cartoons and short stories, published mainly in the New Yorker and collected in his numerous books at the 20XDX ads. I'll accept Jack and Andy Quotes instead. Oh, man. And see, I know who Jack Handy is because I watched SNL. <laughs> As a child. <laughs> and this is all you. But I can't think of a specific quote. I just remember what the skits look like. <laughs> I continue to disappoint. No. Battery's just... running low. Oh. No, Paul. No. You know, we've, we've been moving. beset. We've been beset. Behaviors and delusions and all that. Uh, Alright, location complete. Charger. Sounds getting low, big guy. Yeah, it, it, it sure is. If he asks why God is crying, another cute thing to tell him is probably because of something you did. <laughs> and it was, I remember the bits where it like a, a, associated with like the really kind of like uncharitably uh, speaking, like, I don't know, you're in a dentist office in the 90s and it's like an infomercial for like a Christian CD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could picture that. Like, what, what is specific is that I could bring up? Have fun with it, folks. Say that. <laughs> oh. Did, 
Look messed up? Yes. Is it on purpose? Sure. Yes. Of course. Of course yes, it is. Of course. Let's do what I actually thought about me. That the case anyway. Is that the pizza giant spatula thing got, got kind of messed up? Kind of broken. It's fine. It's fine. Um, alright. Let's try to get some little bit of color in here. Um, so we'll, um, we can hide that. So we can have our title up here somewhere. Um, <laughs> oh man. So the, so the, um, oh boy. But the, this, <laughs> Dark, the Dark Foodiverse, One Last Taste. I don't remember what the last one was called. Um, what was the last one called? <sighs> Sorry, that was my bad. I don't know, because we drew the, we drew like the action scene. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't... Spencer Speed is so Yeah, how much can you fit? So I'm, tr I'm trying to really boil it down to just like something, something. To, okay, you know what? I still have it bookmarked. How many things can I do with, with the same hand? Something saucy. Something saucy. Saucy and overbold. Yes. Yeah, they, they hired some English majors for this one. <laughs> Definitely. Overbold, they're cops. Um, 
witch cops. I don't think we've ever colored them in the past. So, let's see. Dark, maybe dark blue. There. We don't have red. That's not red. This is red. It's very red. Yeah, the only coloration we used was red for the sauce. <laughs> so I have to look at what a red runner looks like. <laughs> Unless we don't remember. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter because it's just a clown, so we just like leave the swerve away. Yeah, who knows what who knows? <laughs> Snacks can make it fetching. Fun clown color. Fun clown color. I was gonna go with more red, but you know, whatever. Sure. That could be a fun clown color. Sword snacks. Maybe. Maybe we'll do a little bit of. So maybe it's a pink hat. Go with pink hat. Yeah. Pink hat with coloration. Is any of it even <laughs> vaguely what whatever mustard it looks like? Well, yeah. This is important. <laughs> so then we can make this. Yeah. Sure. All right. Okay. I will now. I will now help. So is is that um, the finger sandwich? Is that a cucumber sandwich? Yes, it is. Okay, I, I will help you with the... I love the fact that the eyeball... That the olive is slash eyeball is on there. Alright, so that's good. Yeah, it's, it's on there. Cucumber... Cucumber relation. Compilation. I didn't expect to be so focused. You know. I'm like invested in these witches. I'm glad. Sam wishes. I'm glad that you, you have identified a new fascination with sandwiches. It, it feels oh, no very more. you. Yeah. <laughs> I might have come up with the pun, but it's definitely a new thing. Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. Oh. Decent kitty. idea. It's a decent idea, but we've basically already come up with the rest, so... <laughs> I mean, we appreciate the suggestion. Yeah. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. So let's, um... You know, let's get some, maybe a little bit of swirl on this here bread. Cool. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what the mouth situation is. Yeah, that one was a little uh, bit of a challenge. It's, <laughs> it's in there you know, amongst the cukes. Yeah. I mean, we can. Uh, okay. okay. Here's. Let me see. That's the bottom. Something amiss. Something very amiss. Okay, I'm gonna add a little depraved detail for you. Oh, yes, please. Okay. Just, you know, I don't, mayo, maybe? Is that Momo? Momo's got a lot to say. Here we go. <laughs> Everyone do your cat impressions. <laughs> Momo, you give me like a few more minutes and I can devote my full attention to you. <laughs> Oh, it is oozy, <laughs> and I love it. Good. All right. Well, I, I realized I forgot to add fire, so I'm gonna do that. Now. <laughs> do fire, yeah, fire. Funda is good. Fundamentally less horrifying. Sad. Oh, Momo Chan. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Momo Chan has never been fed. Never been played with. Never once. Not, not ever. This Paul guy oh, is terrible. Where do you see what we did? <laughs> Are we singing a different tune? <laughs> Ooh, is this pizza paddle in front or in back of our, uh, Sandwich. Um, I tucked under the arm. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so you probably you shouldn't have to do much of anything. <laughs> good, good, good. Oh, here, I know what I can do. Take that out. Oops, too big. Uh... Hey, bat. No, hey, bat. Yeah, yeah. 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 
yelling at my iPad like it's normal to do. Everything is personified. <laughs> Exactly. So I want these okay. consumers to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> That's how they'll remember the product. Yes. Like how everybody was like, hey, you know, what's with the, the, those billboards around here that have the graffiti on them? It's like, no, dude, that's that's fake. That, that's not actual graffiti. Yes. Legal. Legal billboards. They, they did it so that way you would talk about it. Congratulations. Let's do the same thing. Just having, you know, a drippy cucumber sandwich just hit you a bit too well. <laughs> okay, so I think saucy has to be in red, obviously. See? A little drippage in there. Swassy. The joke I made, wow! Yep, yep, yep. Took me a minute, but I got there. Ooh, I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then I'm just gonna slap some random stuff. <laughs> Shaped by it. You know, I can draw clouds. Am I going to? Eh. I'll think about no. it. Talking to myself or the overlords, you choose. <laughs> um, I think that's close enough. What do you think? I think there's rules. <laughs> do. Okay. Um, so this is the next entry in the Dark Foodiverse. Saucy and overbold, which people don't really understand, is the Shakespeare reference. <laughs> until, no. Until the the three sandwiches. 
say saucy number ball. <laughs> um, and then, you know, like the three theater and or English majors in the back go, ah! This is art. <laughs> Pens down. Pencils down. Yeah, pencils pen, down. pens, you know, yeah. We're, we're good. I mean, I really, I really think that cucumber sandwich might be the best thing that we've done. I mean, I freaking love it. <laughs> it is just... It's just oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, happy Thanksgiving, I guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, share this one with your families. Yeah. Yeah. Bring them all closer together. Yes. So gloopy, be so sinister, you're completely correct. <laughs> Again, the food mascot series nobody asked for <laughs> continues. And it will continue. It will continue. I am guessing every Thanksgiving. <laughs> this is one of the best things we've ever done. <laughs> so, um and gentlemen of the internet enjoy that question mark <laughs> uh, yeah that was that was stump the artist <laughs> um, we um, may or may not be back next month because it is the holidays we'll you know you'll know either because we'll do a thing or we won't yeah see what we can do <laughs> um and uh, if we, we do see you next month, then happy Thanksgiving or, or Calvinus or Thursday or um, shopping holiday, whatever you celebrate. Um, and if we don't see you, uh, happy all the rest of the holidays. And we'll, you know, see you in the new year. Maybe we'll have it. We know anything, really. We can't predict the future, folks. Sure can. <laughs> um, in conclusion, um, be good food and um, support your Be good life. dude. Be good dude. Yes. I spoke over you. Eat good food, Paul. Be good dude. Be good dude. There we go. Support your local And support your local library. There we go. <laughs> Tandem. Hoorah. High fives. <laughs> yes. <laughs>